Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Today is, I think it's the 12th of December. Thursday the 12th, I think. Sometimes, you know what, it just whirl. I've been so busy. Our party was great. If I find a decent picture, I'll put a picture of, of the table and everybody just chowing down. <laughs> it was so much fun. We also, what we do is we play a Secret Santa game so anybody that's 16 and over can participate. Uh, anybody who was younger than 16, and this year there was a two, um, I usually buy them a gift. But anybody that's 16 and over has to buy a generic gift uh, valued at no more than $40. So usually, you know, I say about $30. And then there's no names written on it. It, it gets all put on the table and then you play the Secret Santa game. And there was a lot of stealing and a lot of fun. And yeah, the kids over the years have decided to band together against the adults. So they kind of do the little sneaky things and <laughs> it's just still a lot of fun. Um, yes, the party was great and uh, I did nothing on Sunday, nothing. There was leftovers, there was, cause I made turkey and ham and, uh, the way I do it is the only thing I don't have to take care of is dessert. Everyone brings a dessert. So there was a plethora of desserts, all kinds of desserts. Um, but I took care of the whole meal. And uh, yeah, Sunday I sat and did nothing. Well, I crocheted. <laughs> anyway, um, do you like my new mug? Hold on, let me see if I can, I can show you. Yes. That's what it says, naughty. The other side says nice, but I prefer the naughty side. Anyway, this was in, um, I've started doing the 12 days of Christmas and this was in one of the, the boxes of the 12 days of Christmas. It's really unique, it's like a funny shape. It's like a, mm, like a uh, handcrafted kind of wobbly thing. I love it, I love it. Anyway, but you, I, I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas with two people and I'm opening up one gift every day and I'm taking a little clip and then I'll fuse them together at the end of the uh, after the 24th or 25th I'll pop it up on YouTube and you guys can just sit and watch me <laughs> show you what I got um, because I can't I cannot get on here every day I don't know how the vlog missers are doing it I, I have no idea I barely have time to watch um, trying to but it's hard. Anyway, now I got, we're gonna do the cards and gifts first. Um, I was thinking, you know, do people wanna watch me show cards? So I'm gonna do this really quick for those who don't wanna see it. But the way I look at it is, um, we get Christmas cards and they get displayed and then you have guests come in and they all look at the cards. I mean, that's the whole point is you display them so that others who come into your home can see them. So I'm inviting you into my home and you're going to get to see my Christmas cards. There are many. So we're going to do this real quick. So the first two cards, actually I got two cards from uh, Barbara and her and her husband live permanently on a boat down south. Uh, so I'm assuming this was sent earlier. It's a postcard. And then this one was for Christmas. Um, Barbara, you're living the life, I'm telling you. Uh, and then I got this one. This one is actually very shiny. It's so adorable. Um, and this one was from Kelly Harvey. Thank you, Kelly. That was so sweet. I want to show everybody because I actually want to get them up on my cover wall. I want to put them all up there. Then I got this one from uh, Deanna Sharp. Again, a very traditional looking card. I love it. I love it. I want to live there. <laughs> I really, really do. And then, and I don't believe that I've showed these because I'm pretty sure that as I showed, I stuck them up on the wall. This one is again, another uh, wonderful uh, traditional looking card. And this is from Robin, Robin Lawson. Oh, it's so pretty. This is the Santa that I know. 
Um, oh, and we got one from Ella at No Catchy Name. I'm assuming she's okay with me showing because this is her family. Oh my God, that's her, Devin, and Jesse. What an adorable family. So this will be going up, um, up on the wall as well. Then I have another traditional looking card. And this is from Linda Waddell. Oh, so pretty. Thank you, Linda. Then I have one from, and I think I've seen this card actually, and this is from Rosalie at Yarn It Out. I think I'm gonna get to meet Rosalie in April. That is pretty. So pretty. Um, okay. And then, oh, this one's beautiful. And it's very, I don't, I don't think you're gonna see it, but it's very, very glittery. And it's from uh, Noreen Packard. It's very, very pretty. Gotta do this fast because I have chili on. My husband and I are going away tomorrow uh, just for a day and I have to make sure that the kids have food so I'm making them a quick chili. This one's from Linda, just a crochet sister. I laugh so much. I've seen this card, but I love it anyway. And says, hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at that. <laughs> That's what I would be thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. That was so sweet of you. This one, as soon as I opened it, I'm like, oh! And this is from uh, Cynthia, uh, Sin's Crafting World. She's a fellow Canadian. Look at that, it's so cute. I am a cat person, but I can't have cats. So I have dogs that kind of look and act like cats. Um, and then this one too. Oh my goodness, you gotta look at this face. And this is from Deb Rubach. Look at this face. And basically it says, uh, is it Christmas yet? Oh my God, I would just melt if I had a dog like this. Just melt. And then this one is sent from my friend Jen. And she's one of the, my swap partners. But she makes these herself. Look at how beautiful that is. All handmade. Great job, Jen. Love it. And then this one is from Cindy... Molter. I believe she has a channel as well, and it's very glittery. Very nice. Very, very fancy. Thank you, Cindy. Um, then the, another traditional one, and this one's from Michelle Sheppel. Look at that. I want to hang out there. <laughs> so pretty. Um, and then this one. <laughs> It's got velvet. I love it. I love it. It's Dawn Tennyson. It is raised like so it's like 3D, but it's all velvet. Again, I wish you guys could feel it. It's so awesome. I love it. Oh, I just want to pet the card. <laughs> We're getting there. And then this one is from Carla at uh, Crochet CJ. Look at that, the little doggies, oh my God. Thank you, Carla, but not only that, she made me this. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the shine, the glitter, oh my goodness. I would never have patience to make this. And I love the colors. This is gonna go straight up on the Christmas tree tonight. Thank you, Carla, thank you for thinking of me. Um, and then this one, <laughs> I love, and laugh. First of all, inside was a, a package of um, owl stickers. Okay, this was from Tammy and Slay uh, from Tammy Slay from Slay the Day with Crochet. So the card. I'm going to read you the card. It says your Christmas challenge. Try sticking your tongue on this spot right here. Then sing Jingle Bells without moving it. Then you open it and it says, Hey, don't feel bad. Nobody at the store could do it either. And I'm like, Ew. <laughs> But is that not hilarious? Oh my God, I laughed. Thank you, Tammy. I needed that. That was so funny. And then I have one from 
one of my favorite YouTubers, Sharon, um, and I believe this is from her. It does not, I uh, don't have a, yeah, Sharon's Crochet Corner. Um, so I believe it's the same Sharon that's in Nova Scotia. There's no return address or anything. But this lady, oh my goodness, she has stolen my heart. Anyway, she gave me a card and so here's the card. Oh, come on. But inside, she made me an ornament. How cute is that? It's a wreath, but it's got stitch markers, which I will not be removing. They are staying on there. They're in the middle, there's a ballerina. Uh, there's an owl, and there's a bee. I love bees. I think I've said it many times. I live in an area with a lot of beekeepers, and I always like to think that the flowers that I grow actually get used to make the honey from the bees. But anyway, is that not a thank you so much, Sharon? And like I said, I think it's the Sharon from Nova Scotia. I'm not 100% sure if I am wrong. I do apologize, but thank you so much. And then I got a card from Leah's uh, Handmade Crafts. So here's the card. Oh, come on, this silly light. She made me a star ornament. Look at that, that's so sweet. So sweet, come on, come on. There we go. Um, and that was sweet, and it's gonna go up on the tree right away. But honestly, the note that she wrote in there, so sweet, and Leah, you kinda made me cry. I appreciate that, thank you. Then I got, I got a Warmest Wishes card. And now that spread up my alley. Love those mugs. And this is from Trish's Creative Treasures. Trish, not only did she send me the card, but she sent me two candy canes. But they're black. I have never, ever seen black candy canes. I'm tempted to, to wonder, I'm, I'm thinking, are they licorice? I don't know. But I've never seen black candy canes, so that's awesome. But inside was also a little pouch with my favorite, Buffalo Check. And wait, there are a massive amount of stitches in there. Look at, okay, I'm gonna try to show you that. And then there's a, a present, a uh, present like a gift box present. And then there's another one with a heart. Look at the beads on this thing. I would never have patience for this. Then there's, I believe, the tree of life. Look at that green. Look at that, oh my God. And there's a snowman. Look at, oh, come on. doesn't want to work. There we go. Snowman. And my favorite. And this one is soft. The bead is like a, I don't even know. It's like a pom-pom, almost like a pom-pom. But it is a moose. Look at that, it's so cute, I love it. I love it. And it's soft. <laughs> So thank you very much. That was so sweet. There were so many here. My goodness. You did not have to send me all. them. One would have been more than enough. But I thank you very, very much. And then, this one made me laugh. So I'm going to show you the card first. It's so stinking cute, okay? And this one is from... Craving Crochet, she's a local gal to me. She's literally like, I think 20 minutes away. We need to get together. Anyway, inside was a whole bunch of candies. So candy was always my downfall, always. But I've been so good, I have not eaten a piece of candy in over two months. So I've been so good. So these, I have a big candy jar in my kitchen and everybody's allowed to go into it. So these will go in there. Thank you very much. But 
you're gonna laugh. So she also made me candy, oh, I think one broke, oh, one broke. Candy cane cozies. <laughs> oh, wait until you see this. Candy cane cozies, okay? So stinking adorable. But look what she did. <laughs> oh my God, it made me laugh. I am Santa there. She made, <laughs> she made tags of Santa with my face on it. And not only that, she put it on the outside of the, the, the label too. Oh, can you see my face in there? <laughs> I know the ladies at the post house very, very well. They were killing themselves with this. Just killing themselves. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so sweet and so much fun. So I got that. And then... I got this card and I literally bawled when I saw what was in here. So here's the card and this is um, Gary from Urban Yarn in BC. The card what he wrote inside was so sweet and I think you all know I'm crushing on him a little bit now because I want to be like him. <laughs> oh, but inside the package was this beautiful canvas bag and inside was this and I don't know what it is this year this past year I've been on a green kick and it's not my color but she, he sent me some of this uh, landscapes which I don't think I've ever used but in the, this beautiful green color and the color is chartreuse I'm crushing on this and then also sent me two two balls of ice yarn and this is Lorena. I was just looking at ice. I was thinking of getting it. I think this might be a cotton. I can't see it. But, and look at the colors though. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. I don't know why, I'm on a green kick. But he made everything coordinate. But what made me cry? If you've watched Gary, you know he's also a potter. You have got to see what he sent me. These are coasters. How stunning are they? Like, they're amazing. These are, I love, love, love handcrafted items. I actually had a set of um, wine goblets that were ceramic, hand, handmade. They're actually, they were my husband's, but I've adopted them. I drink out of them all the time. He occasionally does. But anyway, um, I'm babbling. This, these were made by Gary, and they're even stamped in the back with his initial. Gary, these are stunning, but look at, there's a color theme going on here. Look at that. Oh my God, you have a good eye, Gary. So not necessary, but so greatly appreciated. And the last thing, last gift, I got, I just got it. And again, this made me cry too, um, because this woman is spoiling me rotten. This is from um, Michelle, and she has a channel, Shell Shell Crochet. And if any of these people that I've mentioned have a channel, I will leave it down below. But she sent me a card, but she's al already like spoiling me rotten with all the hair um, thingies. And inside here is a a soap sack and in here is one of my favorite soaps it is um, I get it at the health food store and it is spearmint and, and eucalyptus I love spearmint and I love eucalyptus this is one of my favorite soaps how you knew I don't know but anyway in the beautiful little soap sack and very Christmassy colors good job but this she made me a chalette Look at this, and the colors, look at that, I love it. I love, 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 love it. And she mentions, um, wait, she mentioned that it was Bernat Super Value Stripes. I've never seen these stripes. And she says it'll soften up. I don't know what you're talking about. This is soft, it's very soft. Everything smells like spirit and eucalyptus. 
Michelle, thank you very much. So, so not necessary, but again, greatly appreciated. So now I've got a lot of cards and gifts. Cards are all going up. Now, what have I been up to? All right, first of all, I'm gonna talk about what I'm wearing. Okay, this is a little bit of a discussion. Um, um, okay, so let me show you. This is Austin's Craft Corner. He's such a sweet kid. I, this is his second pattern that I've tested in health, excuse me. And he asked me to test this one again. And sorry, the color's off. My printer is acting up again, losing ink fast. And after he asked me to test it, he asked me if it was okay to name it after me. I'm like, of course. Um, so he's called it the Debbie Cozy Cowl and he's gonna release it tomorrow. Okay, so I'm reading this thing. Now, first of all, I did give him my opinion. My opinion is that he writes more for the advanced crochet um, when I think that he should be writing it like, you know, absolutely everything should be written out. So I give him that advice. Hopefully he's taken it. But I'm working on So this is the one that I made first. Hold on. So it's, it's, it's worked flat and then you seam up the back. But look at the shape of this thing. And I kept taking pictures going, Austin, is it supposed to look like that? Is it supposed to be this bubbly? Is it not supposed to be straight, you know? Um, and he's like, yep, it looks like that. It looks, I'm like, this'll never work. But you know what? When you finish it and you put it on, it looks like this. It's lovely. Honestly, and um, I can't remember what I used uh, in this. This was, um, I, I don't know, some cake or some sort. Uh, and then this one was, um, oh, it's awful. Um, you know the ones that came in little balls, the Peyton's, Peyton's and Pantone or Pantone X or whatever the, not Peyton's, but you know the Pantone ones? Well, my mom had given me some and then someone else recently gave me some and I didn't know what to do with them. So I put them all, all two different or three different colorways all in here. What I liked about his, his design is it, you just have to stick it out. Honestly, you look at it and you go, this thing's wonky. What is going on with it? But it works. It lays flat. You know how sometimes you wear a cowl and sometimes they do this? This doesn't do that. And the way it falls, it's wonderful. So he has actually taught me to, to uh, trust his judgment. <laughs> it's worked up really well. It's really, really simple. It really is. It's just... It works up like that. Like he's mixing stitches and it looks wonky, but it's wonderful. Really quick, this was done in one evening because it's easy. So you should go check out Austin. And I mean, I might be a little biased. He's naming the pattern after me, but I, I believe me, it is easy. And just work with the wonk. Just work with the wonk. Finish it and you'll see that it just lies lies so nicely right and there's no and the way oh, i could go on and on trust me it just lies nicely you could tuck untuck it so that it kind of goes like that or tuck it under it's just a nice shape and a wonky shape but it works out it works out so i've done that what else have i done oh you guys are gonna laugh at this so it's not completely done so i guess it's a whip um, I wanted to send my daughter and her beau uh, a smitten mitten, okay, uh, for when they walk the dog, when they walk Buster. And this is by Melissa Spencer and Ginger Bees Creations. So she has a little heart. I bypassed that. I I didn't have white. I know. Who doesn't have white? Me. Um, but I did have red, and this is just Red Heart Super Saver. Sorry, I did not woven in the ends. But this is what it is. And it's basically one mitten and people hold hands inside. Is that not great? I love it. So this is actually done. I just need to weave in that end. 
but then she does not have a pattern for because when you're walking hands you still have another hand that's going to be free and it's going to be cold so I created this now I use this is all front post double crochet it creates such a thick thick fabric that it's going to be work it's going to work in the New Brunswick winters it's going to be awesome so I'm looking at this going I can even make a hat out of this I can make the matching hats but I only had one mitt done because I ran out of red um, so I actually went to the store today and I got some more red super, uh, red heart super saver, but this is just mine. I'm winging it. It's not perfect by any means. I kind of started with her, her pattern just made it much smaller and then it went down and then kind of muddled through the thumb and I'll do the same for the second mitt. So that I'm sending to my daughter, Tanya. So I'm sending that, but I thought it was so cute and it is a free pattern, I think. I think it's a free pattern. I'll leave a link down below. And the last thing I want to show you is a dud. And it is a dud because I'm a dud. I made a mistake. So I wanted to make this. Now I don't know if it's a paid for pattern. I think it might be a paid for pattern. It's called the Slice of Nice Sweater. Uh, designed by Ash McQueen of Colorful Cro Crochet. So there you go. Okay, I will leave the link for that right off the top of my head. I don't know if it's paid, but I think it is. Anyway, so I wanted to make uh, an extra large. So I'm working on working and she uses this yarn called uh, Lion Brand Superwash Merino, which it says is a number three light. I don't know what I was thinking but I started doing it in latte cakes. And the reason it's a dud, so you have from here to here, which is the sleeve, and then you break for the sleeves and then continue down. Well, mine is pretty short, but the person that I'm making this form for is seven inches. Let me tell you, this one, this is not seven inches. This is more like 30 inches. This is where it broke. And I had, if I find a picture, I had my younger daughter Kelly try it on. It's like a poncho where the sleeves start down here. It looks so ridiculous. But I will have, I will show you a picture of it. And so I'm looking at it going, what kind of a silly pattern is this? It's stick, it's a, just a raglan sweater. It should be easy. Um, and I'm looking at it and reading the pattern and I'm going, oh my God. The latte cakes is a number five, not a three. So what I'm going to do is the evil thing and I'm going to rip back and I'm going to work with the latte because I really like the latte, but I'm only going to, I'm going to do this, but only do the seven inches. And so I have quite a lot to rip back. It's going to have to go all the way. Like, I don't even know. It's going to have to go probably to here, probably that much, this much I have to rip back. And that's my bad for not paying attention. I don't know what, what I was thinking, but yeah. Sometimes you just need to listen to the designer, just like with Austin's. I was like, are you sure? And then same with this. So I love this pattern. It's really easy. Um, but yeah, you need to read the pattern. Anyway, that's all I have and I'm all, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm almost at 30 minutes. Um, yeah, I just had a lot to show you and I hope you everyone enjoyed the Christmas cards. Some people don't and for those, I, I'm sorry, but if people have taken the time to write a card, go to the post office or mailbox and mail it, the least that people can do is display it. And I'm inviting you into my house to see my credit, uh, my Christmas cards, not my credit cards, <laughs> my Christmas cards. Anyway, um, I don't know when I'm going to be back. Uh, I've got, oh, I got some commissions. I have to make a couch cozy, some more gnomes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm working on a shawl. Oh my goodness. I have eight days to finish the shawl. I've only got about this much done. Ugh. Anyway, I'm babbling. Thank you all. Everyone who has thought of me and uh, thank you for coming back and watching me ramble. 
I appreciate it. I will be back when I'm back and I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and we will talk soon.